Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, and that's right, we've now entered into the month of December and for the holidays, and of course, reviewing Christmassy films, that's right. Um, and of course, that's right, you read the title. The first one uh, for this week, and you know, the first week for, Dece for December and for reviews, um, you know, uh, that is of course none other than White Christmas. I, uh, as, uh, as you're watching this, and, well, and as, as this, as I'm recording this, uh, I've actually watched it, uh, not too long ago, and, uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. It's a great classic movie, and a classic Christmas film, for sure. And I say that this is like, say, uh, when I watched, uh, Singing in the Rain, it's more than just, like, say, Singing in the Rain is more than just, like, you know, singing in the rain while it's raining, okay? And White Christmas is more than just the song, okay? And White Christmas, okay? <laughs> Basically, like, I say, because, like, with both White Christmas and Singing in the Rain, they share one thing in common, and that is, like, you know, there are the, the main characters, they're performing, like, on stage shows and so on, like, rehearsals, musicals, that kind of stuff. So, and with our two main characters, um, I'm pretty sure, like, hold on. Like, if I'm correct, um, of course we know, yeah, uh, Phil Davis, played by Danny Kaye, and of course, Bob Wallace, played by legendary Ben Crosby, yep, um, and of course, the other characters, like, there's, uh, these, tw these sisters, uh, there's, uh, I'm not sure, like, sisters, yeah, yeah, sisters, Betty ha Haynes, I think I got that right, um, Played by, uh, let me see, Rosemary Clooney, right? And, uh, probably no relation to George Clooney, I don't know. And, uh, Judy Haynes, uh, played by Vera Ellen. So, and of course, you know, Betty and Bob get together, and Phil and Judy get together, so. And, uh, the other characters, like, there's, uh, I remember, like, one guy named, by the name of, Gr uh, Mr. Heron, I th Heron, Heron, I don't know, it was played by Grady Sutton. When I saw him, he looked familiar. His face looked familiar, and I, now I know, because when before I started recording and I was looking him up, like, he was in an episode of Batman, in the 60s Batman show, in the, uh, in the, uh, in part one of, uh, the episode that, that, where they, were Batman and Robin were facing off against the Black Widow, so that. Um, and, um... The other characters, like, uh, hold on, let me see. I've got the tablets, you know. There's, of course, the Major, uh, the General, that is, played by, well, my, uh, yeah, yeah, played by Dean, Dean Jagger, and, uh, I guess his wife, I, if I recall, played, uh, uh buh, 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 Emma Allen, played by Mary Wicks, and, um, the Major's, uh, granddaughter, uh, Susan, played by Anne Whitfield. Yeah, Anne Whitfield. Um, but everything about this film was great. Like, especially because when, uh, um, when Phil and Bob, they're helping, uh, the, the, uh, Judy and Betty, like, escape, like, make a run for it, you know, like, because, you know, the police were about to arrest them, but, you know, they kind of, uh, they kind of distract the police. Like, for one thing is, they pretend to be them, I guess, and, like, they play a record of, of their singing, of what they recorded, and they're wearing, like, what they kind of wore, like, with the feathers and, like, you know, those things that, like, the flowers that they had on, you know, that, that was hilarious, you know, even, like, you look at the audience watching, they're, they're smiling and laughing, you know, and I don't think, uh, I think, I think his Bob, he's not, he's, he's kind of embarrassed, you know, um, and I, if I recall, like, somewhere in the movie, like, uh, Betty is misunderstood over Bob. But, you know, that's all I can remember. And, uh, Phil and Judy kind to make amends between both of them, you know? If I said that right, amends, you know? Mm. Um, because I think, like, I guess from Emma and to Betty, they misheard something, uh, from Bob, because when he was on the phone. Um, and, um... Yeah, just, 
And I gotta say, because White Christmas is such a great movie, that's all I gotta say, because with because this was in the 1950s, the style, the, the feel to it, and, you know, at the beginning and at the end, we get, you know, uh, Bob, Bob Wallace singing, at the beginning, Bob Wallace is singing White Christmas, and at the very end, Bob and all the others, they're singing White Christmas, you know, and when, uh, cause, and, like, they get White Christmas where they're at, you know, this, like, restaurant or whatever, and, like, it would also per have some stage uh, musicals and so on, performances. Christmas, you know, White Snow arrives, which that's great, a nice, a nice ending to it. Um, and there's even, like, I remember there was, like, a, a happy birthday celebration for the, for the major, the major general, so that was cool and touching. Um, but, yeah, all I've got to say is White Christmas... 10 out of 10. I give this film a 10 out of 10. And you guys let me know what you think of White Christmas. If you've seen it, leave comments as always and give this review a like. And yeah, so again, 10 out of 10 for uh, White Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of White Christmas. More reviews coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward. And reviewing Christmassy films has just begun. And stay tuned later tonight for for uh, this time, we're reviewing something once again from Rankin Bass. It has to do something with a snowman? You probably know what it is. <laughs> I just kind of gave it away. So thank you for watching. Again, 10 out of 10 for White Christmas. Hope you enjoyed my review of White Christmas, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash review video. And, and again, the Christmas, the, the reviewing Christmassy films has begun. Take care. Merry Christmas to you guys, and peace out.